Hello, boys and girls. Today we are going to be listening to the story, How Animals Communicate, written with photographs by William Munoz. Before reading today, let's preview the topic, animal communication. Animals can send messages. Animals can understand messages. Some move their bodies. Many make special sounds. Why do you think birds sing? Why does a dog wag its tail? You will learn all about animal messages and how animals communicate. Let's go ahead and meet the author and photographer, William Munoz. From the mountains to the prairies, William Munoz and his camera have traveled all over the United States. He has taken photos of alligators, bald eagles, bison, polar bears, and many other animals in their natural habitats. Our story today has the genre of informational text. Remember, boys and girls, that informational text gives facts about a topic. So while you're reading, look for information and facts in the words and photos that show the real world. Let's get ready to read How Animals Communicate, written with photographs by William Munoz. An animal will tug and grab. An animal can hug its baby. How do elephants hug? The dog and cat are friends. How can you tell? What is in the grass? Animals can hear it. They will run away from it. A bird will sing. Here I am. A wolf will call to its pack. Here I am. Why will a dog press its legs down? It will let dogs see. I can play. Some bees will buzz and dance if they find food. A mom can tell the smell of its baby. An animal can have a bad smell. It will make animals run away from it. Look at all these pictures. Each picture shows how animals touch, hear, see, and smell. Tell what the mom can do. The end. Today, boys and girls, we read the story, How Animals Communicate. And in this story, we saw different types of text and graphic features. Let's review about text and graphic features. Authors use special words and pictures to tell more about a topic. A heading helps readers find information. It tells what a part of the selection is about. Look back at the part called Animals Here. What does the heading tell you about this part? What do you learn about the sounds animals make? The heading on page 51 says animals here. That heading is going to let me know that I'm going to be reading about animals and how other animals can hear different sounds that they make. For example, on page 51, I see a picture of a snake, a rattlesnake, and it says animals can hear it. They will run away from it. I learned that other animals will listen to the sounds that different animals make as a warning. Also under the heading, Animals Here, I learned about how a bird will sing to other birds to let them know that he is here. And finally, under the heading, Animals Here, I learned about how a wolf will call to its pack. And that's a way that the other animals can hear 
his message. Thanks for listening.